Grays Harbor County is nestled between the Pacific Ocean and the southern tip of the Olympic Peninsula. There's no place quite like it, where one moment you can be dipping your toes into the Pacific Ocean and in another be right in the middle of one of the few remaining temperate rainforests in the world. Tourists from all over the world come to visit Grays Harbor County to experience all that it has to offer. But be forewarned, if you come to visit, you may never leave. It's just one of those places that's relaxing and completely stress-free. I love the ocean. Uh, there's lots of things to do, but mostly we like the beach. We like the fires on the beach. We like the freedom. We like just being here. It's gorgeous. Yeah, and we're very fortunate to live in Washington State because there's so much to offer. The ocean, the desert, the mountains, the city, the small town, wonderful people. Definitely a spectacular place. What Grace Harbor has to offer to tourists, of course, is our, our natural beauty. We really do have something exceptional here, and we need to tell our story. It's beautiful, man. It really is. Well, there's no question that the Northwest is a, is a terrific place for if you want to be outdoors. And you can do just about anything that you want to do in the Northwest, from uh, scuba diving in the Puget Sound to climbing Mount Rainier and everything in between. Well, we came to town here in 1976, uh, came following a job, and thought maybe we'd be here for three years, and it's now 32 years later, and we're still here, and it's been a, a great place to, to have a family and bring up kids and, and make a life. Each of the small towns in Grace Harbor has its own unique character. They have a little different history, a little different group of people that are there. Uh, but I think the overall thing is that when you live in a small town, you have a chance to make a difference and you get to know people. And so just being a part of that community. Grays Harbor, I think, is neat because it's large enough that you have opportunities to do things, um, but it's small enough that, that you get to know people and you get to find a place in your community where you can be a part of a community where people know you and you know them. But there's still places where you can go and get your own little piece of nature and, and not have to share it with everyone else in the world. I guess the, the attraction of a place like Grays Harbor and it is really a kind of a couple of levels. One is that there's just so much to do, particularly if you're interested in the out of doors. If you want to come someplace that's beautiful, that you can just you know really enjoy the nature and and what's around you and and just the beauty of a place but again it's also the people that this is a, a neat community of people that come from a whole diversity of backgrounds and uh, people that come out of that logging and history and are hardworking and really care about their community um, and would welcome you and make you a part of it <laughs>